แล้วอาจารย์อยู่ฝั่งนู้นนะโอเคนะครับก็โอเคไหมครับเฮ้ยเอ็ดเวิร์ดอะไรวอลคัมทูปรินเซสเกนิเวทานินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลซิมโพเซียม2022 and this is uh, one of the first presentations. And today, for the first two presenters, um, today we will talk. They will, they will talk about m a h o n g s o n from different perspectives. So just not to waste any time, let's welcome Dr. p o n g t e p j i t r o n g p r e m Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. p o n g t e p j i t o k a y Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I will talk about the Integration of music with archaeology, linguistic history, and geography in uh, any dimension, in many dimension, in upgrading cultural heritage for creative tourism in m a h o n g s o n Province Research Project. This project I went to there with the researcher, Ajahn Dr. Sukhapon s u w a n p a k d i and I went to as a the observer and assistant. Researcher, so how the music go with other uh, kind of knowledge? We will see it is indeed. So in the observer lens, we have I have uh, glasses. So when when we go to any any time, if I you you go with the music glasses, you will have something in the context of knowledge. To see the things, the environment, the atmosphere, and anything around. Yes, uh, from the past until now, the creative project, the creative project starts for long time. Uh, around 2008 in Mahong Son Province, uh, we saw the uh, what do you call? We saw the statement of the professor. Uh, Ananda Kong, and also you see a n o t i n i t y from there. This is the booklet, the report in, of the ensemble, local ensemble there, that they go to learn and study music, and also uh, above is a professor l a s m i Chu Song Dev. She is a archaeologist researcher in that time that discover the. Cave and discover the coffin cave around that time, and she did many research that you can find it in the internet. So now we go to the m a n g s o n province again and do again the creative music and integrate about the knowledge for many kind of subject. And what happened? So, you will know about the creative tourism a little bit. Me too. I don't know about creative tourism much, but I think you can imagine about the literature, arts, music, and about content. And this creative tourism will give you uh, a lot of thing that uh, provide the development of local. Province like Mae Hong Son because Mae Hong Son province is uh, the northeast of Thailand and is on the highest hill. So you will uh, that there was many there there are many hill tribe. So you cannot uh, uh, the the language and the culture and the music really different from here. So We have to develop the local guide, local storyteller. This is the aims of this creative project that I saw and I observed through the research project. So we have we have seen many artists there. You will see this picture. They play to us. They play a concert. They. Uh, Mixed together from many kind of district in Mahong Son, and also they have so uh, the ancient JD we call JD, not Chong David, we call JD ancient ancient 
temple. And also, this is one of the archaeologists' things that they discover the cave. And you will see the high, new high mountain around there and have a lot of fogs. So this tourism is we are developed together. You have to have many kind of knowledge for the local people and not only music, not only the cave, not only the mountain, only the forest, but I have to develop all things integrated to the knowledge. So what did I do? Uh, I study about ancient people with the researcher. I, uh, we, call, we go to there, we went to there in the field, go, went to around the Melson province or off area and see the people, talk with the people and saw environment, a lot of nature, a lot of culture and also survey the lens from the researcher or area and how they discuss because they have many things to discuss, they have lens and some, some lens is different together and how is the integration of the research? This is my question for this uh, Mang Son province project. So the first one that I saw, this is the okay geographic range. This this project that I went to with the researcher is the another kind of uh, project plan. This is a parallel project plan that another group of the researcher use the scientific statement to uh, answer the question how the fog is go, uh, how the fog is happen, how the forest is grow up, how the case happen, about the land, the cars happen, something like this, how high hill. This is another parallel project in the big project research. So that is why we talk about this because when we go, when we went to there, we want to know about how things happen. And this research project also answered in scientific way also. Yes, and when, when we talk about for a guy, for a tourist, you will know how fog happened, how, how we can go to see fog, when, what time the fog happened like this. No? And when we know about that, when we go to the field, we can, uh, we can imagine, we can have some topic, we can have some relationship with the local people also. And another land that we change, exchange to, and we study from the researcher in this project is archaeological lens, because they have a lot of uh, lens about the discover the thing by the scientific method. They have experiment a lot. They know how the thing happened for uh, when 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 the thing has happened. And object of the past also like coffin cave. This a uh, many long time. Mang Son province have a have a history and have a ancient things a lot about more than 10,000 10, years. So they have the knowledge from the evidence of the past a lot. And, and Professor Lasmi Chu Song that she is a, a famous one about this, this Mang Son research. So, and I have learned a lot about this. Uh, furthermore, about this time, we have a John professor from linguistic lens because they have to show the people, local people English for local people to to stay to teach for the guide when foreigner come foreigner tourists come to the Mang Son province, they taught the guide to say some word. That's a very easy word and very uh, specific word that the foreigner will 
understand about the Mahong Son. So, and further, in, in the, what we call the journey, journey to the Mahong Son, but instead I go to the field. I, we saw many rankings there. That's, this is one is uh, right in Thai, but when, when we call, when we, we lead in Thai, it's very difficult to pronounce. So, because it's a Lana, it's a Kamuang Lana language. So, it's the north of Thailand language. So when 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 the the when the writing is used in Thai language, but but when we pronounce it, it's not the same as written. So we have to think about the sound of people pronunciation, and also think about what they written is not the same. Yes. Okay. That's from the hill tribe, they have so many languages, and sometimes we cannot understand them. We have to use nonverbal language also, or sometimes we have to use uh, translator. Some translator that can use Thai and also can use uh, hill tribe language, uh, such as Lahu, Lahu Dam, Liso, Lisu, or Bakayo, something like this. So, Karin. In Melson province, there are many history of arts and culture. So, very rich full about the arts and also culture, and also music also developed there. Ajahn Dr. Superpon will talk about it later. And we have a lot of story. They have a lot of story about the sculpture, about the uh, agriculture and place and ancient remains that I mentioned in the archaeologist field. So there are many living and culture. This one, when when we go, when we went to there, is a uh, about they have uh, we call the Buddhist uh, spiritual for walking around the JD and and pray for the uh, temple, pray for the monk and Buddhist something like this. And they have uh, the this one a lot and and we exchange the history, historical lens with the professor about history. So you know about the Melson in history when was when the Melson uh, happened when the Melson going to be a province and how people immigration how they exchange because it's near Burma so some some culture some uh, some exchange from Burma is a lot and also from Lana from Thailand from Lana from Burma and also from Chiang Mai, they have Asian lot. And for the music, Lenis, I will talk a bit from the music. So from the musical, Len, we saw the the thing that's the band ensemble that I mentioned in the book. Left the report of the this this band report in Melana uh, district. Okay. They saw about uh, aesthetic about the music in there. They use music for living, for life, and also for entertainment. Some some entertainment. So they have sound of nature. They have sound of gong, sound of bamboo, sound of the wood, and also the music thing that that show about the life. Have uh, many kind of dance also, many kind of dance. And we are going to be active learning about music there because uh, I can do a, li a little, uh, play some instrument. So, and they perform to us and Ajahn Superpon, Dr. Superpon, we going through this about musical. 
so we, what we see we survey a lot of no kind of knowledge there there this one and you i think today we have the thing about in the disciplinary thought to tourism development because the tourism development is not only land of if i uh, show about musician i have to think about performance about the playing only but this this kind of project have so many kind of field and many kind of knowledge they have to in integrate they have to think about it and they have to think you have to think about local people also because we have to think about sustainability and how local people can use this all knowledge that we grab it on there and they can provide to tourism and this thought will be if will be important if the people there can can know can talk to people can give can uh, uh can explain can explain people can explain the foreigner when you come you are foreigner you come go to uh, you go to Mang Son province the local guy will be uh, will be give the information to you uh, you don't have translator so you this one I think is the now about the the knowledge the kind of knowledge that we have to think about the not only the specific knowledge now we have many knowledge that you can integrate you can do you can learn you can study so i think at the end of the project as an uh, as an observer i recognize about knowledge of now the music can integrate into many fields and make value to human beings and also expand our thinking process but however, I think now I cannot define myself. I, I cannot define myself to what what I call I I a musician or not, or I am ethnomusicologist or what we call in the past that have specific words. So I think our music can make some can make many. Much I think can make much valuable to people and serve many people in this time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Pong Um uh, Are there any questions from the audience so far? ภาษาไทยก็ได้นะครับทำได้เดี๋ยวแปลให้ต่อไปก็ได้พูดภาษาไทยพูดภาษาไทยก็ได้เหมือนกันแต่ว่าพูดภาษาไทยก็ได้เ
anything to be you know to be a good human being in this world when we breathe in and out and into this world. So thank you very much. I'm thank you. Just share. Okay, thank you, Robert and Dr. Zuhuan. And maybe actually, I actually have two questions for okay. you. <laughs> I mean, that Dr. Zuhuan has okay. kind, kindly like kind answer the questions I would like to ask you anyway. Okay. But I want okay. to hear it from you in your own words. So okay. this might be beneficial for our students okay. as well. So the first question is: Is this study important to you, and why? Okay. Oh, Okay. I think uh, this um, study is very important to me because uh, when I have musical and musical thinking, musical thought, I I prefer to think about the performance, the the performance and how to develop my skill. But when we uh, when I go to this project and I study about this, I have to study uh, more about the the people, about the researcher, about the thing that I that the thing that I really, really enjoy to study because we, I think is the knowledge is when 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 we looking when we in the corner of the music when we go to the archaeologist when we go to the geographic thing and I list the first time really hard to really difficult to understand what they say <laughs> but when when we uh, lead and learn and study and really I think it's very enjoy and funny thing that we can can use the uh, how the nature to music and you can uh, such as we can keep the sound of the bird sound of the nature to organize to compose in music also this is integrating one it's very simple but you can do it easily Okay, this is kind of a follow up, so follow up from from what you just, uh, just uh, replied. Yeah. So, as as a teacher, as a teacher, um, why I should I I don't want to say why should the student learn, but why why would you or would you rather encourage students to try different things after you have done this research, and why? Okay, I think this. I think first we have to in in when when we are uh, if we call we are mus musician, we have to make the understand about music first and use a base basis of music. You understand and you uh, have the base very very strong. And when you strong in the music, you can use music go to everywhere. You can go to. The foreign country, you can go out of Thailand, or maybe you can go in Thailand. You can go anywhere. You use music for the people instead of you use music for uh, myself, something like this. And also, when 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 the uh, if if you are student, you can uh, study and understand about the kind of knowledge because sometimes knowledge. Sometimes you uh, cannot believe because the 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 knowledge is changed all the time. The world is changed, music is changed, also people change. So you have to learn a lot. You have to learn. Uh, uh, you have to learn uh, all the time. All the time. <laughs> you have to learn, <laughs> you have to learn all the time. So it's the it's the life, and this is the sustainability thing also. Okay, so so just just a quick summary from what he just said. So, um, in in reality, I mean, music can be used for other different things, not just for us as performers to just perform, but we can use for many many different things. And having, if I understand correctly, having a good foundation can lead to anywhere. So, this is one of the way that we can use music in for a better society, for a better way, not just to give a performance. And actually, for the second question, I would rather keep this for Doctor Superpoint because I think yeah. I, I mean it's the same question. So maybe we I can ask him later. Okay. So if there are any you no know, any more further questions, then thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Okay, Kat, and the next presenter is um, Dr. Superpon Suwan Pati, who is also our lecturer here at PGBIM, and he'll talk about um, Mae Hong Son from um, creating music side from that perspective. And while he's still setting up, um, when when you leave, please do not forget to do our satisfaction um, satisfaction survey. Please do for in any for anything that you have visited or you have participated. And also, yeah, there are I think there are many more events for the for the whole week for for the for the upcoming four days and and today as well. So. If you have not had the schedule yet, yeah, please check the schedule. There are a lot of things that you can. I'm, I'm sure you can enjoy. And if and each day has different themes, so I, especially for students, I encourage you to try to explore as much as you can. And if you are too afraid to ask, or if you don't understand, just raise your hand. Somebody will translate for you. That's not a problem at all. Okay, and if Doctor Superpon is ready, then um, moment. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, thank you very much, Doctor Kumsan, and thank you very much for Doctor Pung Tep to summarize overview about my um research for last year. So it's very interesting that I have a chance to work with the another expertise. Um, for example, archaeologist, um, historian, art historian, and of course, the music that we are in here, Pachan. And of course, um, I would like to uh, pointably review a little bit about the Mahong Son already. I would like to show what kind of the Mahong Son poem is. Um, of course, um, they have the pop, pop, proportion of poor people in the Thailand, uh, it's the most proportion. Uh, there are a lot of the poor people at there. And GDP at that is the most uh, lower most in Thailand. And for the advantage, so the other thing is the uh, potentials of the cultural tourism. And GDP is um, um, economic at that. It comes from the service part around 68%. And of course, um, the happiness index uh, point that this poem is um, the people have a, uh, you know, it's the top of the Thailand for the happiness index. And of course, the last one is in here. There are possibility to you know to try to work like a creative tourism. It's not only the culture; it will be a natural culture also. Um, last year, Professor uh, Rasmi called me to let ask me to join the project. It's very um, it's my favor and it's my appreciated to work with this kind of you know the art. This uh, the art side is not only the music as well. Uh, he worked in this Mae Hong Son more than 30 years until she retired. And then she, you know, she totally understand about the art and how to, you know, make the art more um, output, more integration, and more um, the other thing. That uh, led me to step um, across the border up from the music into the interdisciplinary side. The course of the professor Nigel Osborne that said that music is a message. That um, he just gave a lecture in the International Symposium as a keynote in 2016, and same the idea of the professor and Nalit from the Sydney Conservatorium in Australia that she said that yeah, music is for all of us, right? If if you remind on this, and for we back to the study, so there are two phases of of studying between, you know, uh, at the first part, so we, we have to go to the field work. Um, why, you know, the COVID situation, so there are some uh, community or local community or huge tribal community that we can't access. But we try to, you know, work with the people around there a lot. And then we try to assess men because of we work like a creative tourism, so we use the theory of Buhari 6, 6 AS to examine the attraction of every process on it. And then we work on the focus group and do some workshop with the with um, p local people. And of course, um, we organize the performance and make a lot of the production like a concert to you know promote the idea of creative cultural there. For 
the scope of the study. So in Mangson province, actually we have seven districts, but um, because of the time and the COVID situation, we examine the identity only four districts at there, and then of and of course the third day attraction in those um, um, in those districts. So it will be our you know um, inspiration. For the two, there are a lot of the survey and you know interview with the people a lot. Not only the you know um, leader of the community, the musical guru is the you know is the main point to be you know let the people absorb and understand more their own culture as well. It's not only us to learn, but um, the people um, in the in those community also learn as well. For the free tips, so we try to seek out the three things, um, following the identity and what else, um, the competency developing of tourism, and the last one, try to creating the creative cultural heritage, tourism rules. So that's why we try to adjust and organize um, the rules of it. Um, we back to when we review, so we can see that there are, you know, if they have like a music festival by using the, you know, huge tribal or local mu music ensemble to perform like a world music festival or something, maybe small or big, it doesn't matter. It's also boot up, it also boosts the tourism at there a lot. From our study, so we found that um, at the first half, so from the archaeology and art history side, so there we found that um, the diversity of the people is reflected in different format in the artwork, including fire art, architecture and the sculpture. So in the Pabina and Julia side, it's our team for the big team research. In the history side, uh, uh, Professor Nuna Pang tried to throw out the history. In Mangson, it's a place of the people try to maybe come from the China and from, you know, Chiang Mai, Lana culture at that time. And then to be there, you know, it's a it, it, this is a space of the gathering of the people to, you know, to, 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 to be more the news, where new or new locate lo, lo, location of those Mahonson people. In the way of music that I try to examine, of course there are a lot of the ethnic ethnic groups at that, that have they have different kind of the culture and musical culture actually. And of course the show identity and the you know adding um music and uh, is the two that try to be um add the value uh, or value added for the, this creative tourism, this is our criteria, and there's some review legislature. Mm, I just show you that this is space. Just only for this that we try to, you know, have a criteria to create the new um, tourism route. So, um, actually, the Mai Hong Son, there are uh, many kind of the, you know, different. It's not flat land like Bangkok or you know, in the central part of Thailand. Uh, because the Mang Son is the northern part, so there are a lot of sharp curves. We have to go up and down immediately. More than 2,651 2, curves said that we try to crossing around the Mang Hong Son. So we have to spend maybe, you know, if we travel like a circle, we have to spend around five days to, you know, with the vomit sometime. <laughs> Back to our studies of the, our, our musical part. So the field work, so we try to extend my um, interview and survey for the four districts in Bang Mapa, Mung Mae Hong Son, Khun Yom, and Mae Soreng district. So we met many, many musical gurus to study music with them. My background is a performer. I'm a violinist, I'm a violist, mostly realist actually. And we try to I learned a lot from them. While we're working, we have a chance to, you know, playing music with them to know about what kind of those simplicity melody, how it can be to be their, you know, philosophy to, you know, living in this world. The first, maybe we, for example, we go to very fast about this. Uh, for example, in Pamapa, we go to Tai Yai. Um, so we learn, our, our team, we learn and we, you know, we dance, we sing, we notated the music that from we heard as a, the way of ethnomic ecology actually. We understand um, the, you know, um, authentic gongs um, as there. So we try to notate the melody um, that, that show that um, they try to, you know, 
it, it is an approaching. It's not exactly heard that we try to co collect it because we we would like to have the inspiration to you know to do some creative work or composition or arrangement later. And Baklahu people. So this one is a for me. He is a super. He is a campaigner. As of course, he is a um, spirit people as a shaman in those in his village. So we learn about the can that made from bamboo, like um, um, Ajahn, um, Professor um, De La Peña has a lecture in this morning. So in every piece, so they, they have their own idea. They have, you know, spirit of that. For example, at the top, the, the meaning of the music is a blessing, controlling well-being, have a delicious meal, or something like that. And the second one, to make the people harmony by using the sound pen. And what else? Um, the last one, um, try to, you know, because of they have a uh, Archie culture, is their own carrier or occupation of that. So they have to try to, you know, to pay for the God to let those kinds, you know, going more and going more. It's very difficult to notate it into, you know, uh, Western classical music. We try very hard in oral training, performing musicianship or music theory a lot when we go to the field. So it does, it's not nothing. It means we have to learn immediately how to notate it very fast without, you know, uh, uh, with the difficulty of the, you know, communication because of they use their own language as well. It's not central Thai. For example, in India, we try to, when he try to play some, you know, the musical instrument play like Kita, so we try to do improvise with him, but he will really learn and enjoy with the same, you know, and there are a lot of the ornamentation also, for example. And we go to the Ban Rai in the Mong village in Bama Pa, so we learn the philosophy um, by singing, um, to, to talking about, um, you know, it, 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 for me, it's a really philosophy that sounds like a, if no rumble, it doesn't rain or something like this. Where it shows show everything. Um, of course, the same method, so we try to notate it, uh, some elements of it. And we go to the another district to, you know, Mueang Mae Hong Son. Um, the, mostly they are Thai Yai, a uh, huge tribal. So we met the teacher there, the musical guru, to give me a lot of the information about history and archaeology and of course the music. So we try to um, explore the another sound around there. Sorry. We, 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 we try to explore another sound around there, like, uh, you know, the temple bells. So there are, this is the place of the, you know, um, many, many different um, kind of, you know, sound or music. It's not totally different kind of the folk too as well. We learned the pan sang by the Toyohon, that is, a, you know, uh, inventions why, why the Ing British people colonized Burma at that, and then they, you know, adapted to be, you know, their own musical tradition. So we notate it, we know how to play the style, everywhere, um, everything um, in the, you know, musical idea. We go to Masuri and so inspiration of us to you know listen the the monk that they try to play with a very good ornamenting sound at the end of the every phases. So and of course we try to learn how to know the rhythm of the Thai Yai people by the novel. It's not only me. We have a team like a Pong Te Pemama. We are good in here, you know, to, to join with us at that. And then, you know, it's very, really important to understand by uh, from their own music. And when, when when we share back to the you know historians or our archaeologists in the team, so it's the same idea because of the music. It's a message like an Osborne says that that's an Osborne says that further that I mentioned. We go to the last district about Hun Yum. So we, you know. Um, th th this place, so this district is sound like uh, the World War ruin at there. After the, you know, um, our, our friend Japanese, you know, lost the war in the Second World War, they have to, you know, try to free. They would like to back home as well. Sometimes the war is not only, you know, it is, it's, 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 it's not the upset thing. Um, Sometimes, sometime the war 
show the empathy of the people, you know, how to help, how to share the idea, how to live together as a human. So there are some, there are some music from the, um, the old people. That is the one thing that when she remember, it's a music that the Japanese solo, uh, so, so soldier to teach, to, to teach her about this music. It's children's song, but it's very meaningful. We found the another pieces so in the list of the you know um, all star Kun Yuam Ensemble. So we, we, we have another piece. So the talking about Nippon or Japanese. But this one, so they have some some kind like a singing um, lyrics and you know the melody or something is like a Japanese at some point that they believe that it's from Japanese. So we we try to work with them and you try to you know notate it and then note every lyrics on the you know on on the score and then we check with the japanese expertise what, what exactly means of this piece because um this piece maybe in you know thai yai culture in kun yuam for long time so there are some you know diverse diversity of the languages a lot so <laughs> first of all the actually so she, um, the expertise, she don't want to translate that much because of it changed a lot. But music can be do opposed something like that. We try to assume the big word, um, like a mandalay saguna. It sounds like a mandalay sagula or something. And then we try to use the word instead it, that it is possible. So we can see um, the meanings of the piece, um, like, a, you know, music by musical as opposed to be. Oh, springtime, today I have to say goodbye. I mean, so the, maybe say goodbye from Myanmar to be Kun Yuam. And Mandalay Sagula, I missed my home. And Saya is a um, name of the lady in Japanese. Uh, my love, something like this. So we try to work on it. We do the creative work. We try to arrange and composing for the string quartet a lot uh, for four for pieces in different, and uh, with the, Many many movements, and for example, this one is Pao Pasuit. We try to examine the site that we visit to you know uh, to work at the you know um, arranging and composing things, and also the mastering we used. Uh, we adding the horn um, for the solo by Eun Kun in here. So he worked with us, and then this one we talking about the Sarwin River and the Mastering River, which is um, you know. When we have a river, it means that there are many living or many beings around the river or across the river. Where is the you know, natural borderland um, between Thai and Burma as well. In Mueang Mae Hong Son district, so we, we um, work a lot on the Pan Sang music by the Toyo Horn, Straw Horn, Straw Horn or the violin um, uh, implementing. So we try to keep the essence how to how to be sound, how to be you know um, sound like a, you know when we try to echo on this thing it's just like a you know sound a lot of the harmonics a lot of things so when we try to compose or do something arrangement um, I have to use um, like a western technique like a pay very near bridge as soon as possible or something like that and the last one could you from those two Japanese songs that inspire us to work on it. So we try to um, understand, we try to recollect uh, those memory um, from the people uh, at there to be, you know, a music in here. Maybe there's some ar um, ar arrangement is so like, uh, you know, to remind or recollect the people at there. One thing that after we launch and concert, um, perform the music, one Japanese uh, indie in um, by um, he listened this song and then he, he cried because of he totally understand this song mean is um, try to um, recollect his sense to be uh, for for his childhood as well and after we complete everything we try to record and um, it at the studio and then try to present there are many kinds of perspective 
to be like a you know handbook to travel book and how to research in this app section. We perform the two concerts um, in Mae Hong Son one to, with the people and there with the workshop and a lot of things. And just last two months, so we perform in here at the PG Room to transform the ideas of the sound, the idea of the beauty philosophy of the people in Mae Hong Son. Not only do we have a book, we have the concert as usual. Um, have a good um, opportunity and in Mae Hong Son performance. So we work with the people who travel and there, they come to join with us to curate the program to be, you know, more fulfilled, more the authentic, more understandable the people. It's not only the language that we can try to understand. The music is beyond of that. The music beyond the sound, beyond the communication. Everybody can touch by heart. The P of the Bangkokian has a chance to listen to this album, this music, the real performance with the commentary. Um, all the expertise in the research uh, project, they come to be shared. The experience inspiration to the people in Bangkok as well. There are many kind of you know variety in the concert. Maybe the authentic nut or bean from Mae Hong Son. We order to be have an experience to the people in Bangkok to understand in the concert hall. We let the people to sing the music that we kept from those local field work. So you know let the people to experience to sing and understand um, the human beings who are different parts of our culture. In the same time, we developed the new generation of musicians, like Dome, so he has an experience now, he fall in love to, to work in the history and archaeology more, particularly in the anthropology. Now he study in master degree in the Ar uh, Faculty of Archaeology at Singapore University. Dr. Pong Te, he tried to, you know, expand to help, to support the idea of how music making and how music can touch the people more and more. Everybody, every researcher, every audience, every people that we participate or we have to, you know, contact with or communicate from the first until the last, we, 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 we got many knowledge, you know, many, many knowledge. It's mean that music is widened. It's not only the music society as well. Now, we try to cross the border to go to the another field or another side as an interdisciplinary. The are presenting is not local. It's not only performance. We try to provoke. We try to provoke the sound. We try to provoke not music to let the people, the other people know as more as possible. As an international, national presentation so a lot of things we try to you know make it album and launch on the spotify and apple music for what every spin or every benefit from this we will be back to our you know musical guru in Mae Hong Son as well huh? and last um the discussion there are, there are many things there are many results it's not only in the past of the music as well we learn from a lot of things uh, from the people out there. We try to examine uh, what is the possibility to be, you know, work on it. We, how we're seeking more the possibility to be, you know, how the music growing, growing and right now. And last, um, the two little session as the head of the research project, and he said, two little session without story are like shadow without soul. The music can be embraced of this, embrace the knowledge, to be shared and to you know more communicate from the generation to the generation from now and to the future now we try to celebrate everything we celebrate the music we celebrate the sound we celebrate life we celebrate people and now i think music will be beyond um the ideas of the paintings or craftsmen like uh, uh, the la Peña says in this morning um music will be anything sometime music term may be changed very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Superpoint, for a very passionate presentation. <laughs> and, um, which is great. Okay. <laughs>
Any questions? Any คำถามไหมครับถามได้นะครับ Questions from the audience. Welcome. Welcome. Or anything to share in Thai or English question. Yeah. Fine. Anything to share. เด็กก็ได้นะฟังแล้วรู้สึกยังไงก็ได้แล้ว Sure. Oh, my sponsor. Uh, oh well, I mean, if I mean, if if I just to put the summary of of this from what I learned from this quickly is that um, the best way to do things is to get people to experience that themselves. So, and I mean, in terms of this, in terms of music, like he he had to be there to learn and to experience it, and then and try to use our expertise to further the message. To others, with with the hope that we can connect that back to the original source. So that's I think that's a quick summary from from the what what they are trying to to achieve from this research. And I like but but like I said before, I'm, I actually have questions for for both of you. Yep. So I think this would be good for the next generations as well. And the question is, what is the role of this research in tourism development, and why are we doing why 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 this? Oh. Okay. As I told you, of um, because of the you know um, the there are m many people don't know about the Mae Hong Son as much, which um, but actually it's you know it's a, it's the province which is you know have a rich culture and natural heritage, and then it's it's quite difficult to access there. If you um um you know arrive to Chiang Mai, you have to spend more than f uh, around four hours to be reach to the Mae Hong Son. But actually, they have a flight to be there. If if you fly so very easy, right? But you visit at the Mae Hong Son, Mueang um, Mae Hong Son district, and then when you travel around there, you have to um you know to to have to have the another transportation as well. So that's why very difficult. The quality of tourism or tourism quality is very important. When we try to work on this, we try to let the people know it's not go to the mail thought and capture by you know t um, mobile phone and then finish and post on the social media. We wish that the uh, you know quality tourism will be there to spend the time at there like a vacation or you know like a um, travel with the you know histories of each attraction uh, touring the music in each district that we try to promote. On our handbooks as well, so that, that's why the first role ought to be, you know, try to develop the tourists to be more quality and more quality. Okay, so so basically, so more quality, and with with I mean, with the hope that the people in Mae Hong Son mm. themselves yeah. know exactly how to um, translate or do the message better, yeah. right? Yeah. And and again, so why is this important in general? I mean. Is this like, let's say, is this a now thing, or is this like the thing that to be that we should consider for uh, the future as mm. well, as as creative? Let in, let's say in Thailand, creative economy, it's it's mm. a thing now. So, is this part of it, or what? What is your opinion on this topic for Thailand now and in the future? Um, creative, creative economy and tourism development and the research. I, I think we work in the same way to you know to upgrade, actually to upgrade the idea of the you know boost up our country after COVID. Actually, is the aim of the you know of of this research project. So that's why after COVID era, we try to you know understand more about um, you know how to help the people at there. Why you know the local economics you know less and less has less and less. Right now, so that's why if we boost up on this, the people at there, that we have, you know, that we have a chance to open hostel once again. You, you know what I mean? To open, um, you know, a lot of restaurant, a lot of delicious restaurant right now. To uh, encourage the people back to Mae Hong Son again. As you know, we have to help. Um, it not have. We not help, but we try to. We try to be a provoke. Their own culture to be, you know, to be more quality, to be more let the other people outside uh, the Mae Hong Son know most about their own culture and you know 
that, that that's all. Okay, so basically to try to use um, the creativeness mm. in everyone's and yeah. to try to help them yeah. that there are more options to to do things right. Mm. And when when you say qualities, then we say quality. There are many different qualities that we could talk about and that we that could be used. Mm. And let's say for for this case, music is one of them, and for for other case, history is one of them, archaeology is one of them. So, uh, so, so this is basically this. I think this is the essence of from from what what they are trying to tell us from musical or musician standpoint. Mm. So, yeah. So I think so that's that's my summary. Yeah. yeah. L l last thing that I would like to share a little bit more because of why we working with the team. Mm -hmm. So they have the different paradigm of you know research working. We had to share at that point as we work at the interdisciplinary research. So we had to share that one paradigm and to blend that is the most difficult thing but luck with us music is a tool to embed those knowledge okay great so not just one thing but we have to learn from different perspectives and we can use it from our own way in short all right any 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 further questions from the audience i actually have one more question but maybe later <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions so far? All right. Okay. If not, then thank you very much, Dr. Superpoint, for the, again, passionate presentation. Public.